so, 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 another interesting story here, of course this is off of Reddit, like I said a very weird disturbing piece of app situation that I could ever see or come upon, this website is just plain flat out weird. And, uh, and put that over there so I can see. Every time I look over here, I'm looking over. <laughs> Anyways, I did get a comment on this and I figured out how to freaking do it. Just before I was looking into this shit, this little ad comment box was never there. I don't know how I missed it, but so be it. I asked this person what region they were from or what. You know what? Because once again, here we are of a person that don't put details. Details, details, details. Did the guy ever watch The Grinch? Details, details, details. Give me details. You need details, god damn it. And it goes on to saying I've been researching Skinwalker stories recently from my 4chan, mostly. Recently from 4chan. I don't know if that's a website, but I gotta look that up. I've been really interested, and so I was wondering if anyone had some of their own. Wanted to find more stories about other people about them. Avenue Notebook. Going to be putting in ra uh, ramblings, and I want to start with this stuff. Something that seems so odd to others, but because of how much my mind wanders when I want to write it all down to find out more about it all and hear from others, blah, 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 blah. We do have a story that might be a skinwalker. This was a few years ago. I was, whoops, <clears throat> out cycling with my dad at a local cow country park. We got the small, to the small finish, fishing pond, and out of nowhere I heard this horrible screaming noise. It hard to describe. It was like a high-pitched howl mixed with the metal scraping together. My dad said it was just a fox. But you know damn well fox don't howl and screech and... Oh, hell no. I don't even think a coyote does that high-pitched screech. And they pretty much almost howl like a wolf, I would say. But I wanted to go over another freaking video. Uh, I want to show after doing this. But the rest of the ride, I felt uneasy. It was, it was uh, starting to get dark when I heard that noise. It was quite loud and sounded like it came from the marshy area near the country park. Never saw anything but from the stories I've read in the noises other people have heard have been similar. Since I've always felt like something and someone has been watching me when I've been alone in my room, Mine wasn't so much an encounter, but I'm glad I didn't see anything. Would like to hear stories from others. Here we go with the marshy areas. In other words, swamps. Leading me to once again believe and say, yes, true, very true. As I found that article, or not me, but found in one article that was given to me from a man, Dave, in Vermont. That swamp areas, of course, were Indian uh, getaways, hideaways. Like I say, in the King Philip War, the chief, great chief Medicom and his warriors in the Bridgewater water swamps of Massachusetts... In the, in the book, The Great Powwow, of how they disappeared before the white man's eyes in the swamps. Yes, they did the, uh, you know, probably the inventors, you can say are the inventors of camouflage. Meaning, yes, we run into swamp, you can't find me, and we will hide and get you while you try to run in. I mean, that was part of the war, too, that where the English started to take care and of uh, where they run to, let alone want to get into any, you know, situations from the Native Americans. 
Thank you. But marshy area. County Park. It's like the Green Mountains in Vermont. Two women in the park sharing a story, getting reminiscent in time of, uh, you know, missing time with each other, visiting, blah, 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 and see a skinwalker coming back around to eat their friggin' food. So hopefully I get a comment back from this person because I do want to know the lay of the land. And I told him, I don't know how many people will watch, but I did tell him about my New England Triangle, which in my eyes, <clears throat> I believe that skinwalkers exist over here. I'm for damn sure that Indians, say Navajo Indians, I wanna say Navajo. You know, coming to blast through thoughts through my head, and how they say all the Indians at one time were all enemies. So I mean, if that's the case, so how many Indians do you think that traveled or ganged up with one another to fight the white men in any war? How do you know if a Navajo Indian didn't make it here to New England to help, you know, other Native Americans and set forth the proposition to put a skinwalker here. And for some apparent reason my wife wanted to share a little story today about the Puckwudgie. And she claims that she has heard that name before. She didn't mention it to me before because before, <laughs> obviously her going back in time of her own head, her seeing the bird in the backyard the other day being the horned-eared owl, she's starting to uh, reminisce I guess, back in her mind due to the fact that she too has a great-grandmother that who was Native American. But, of course, my wife don't want nothing to do with what I do. My wife don't care for what I do. But yet she's starting to get dragged into what I do because of the simple facts of things that she has heard before in the past or dreams of her own definition of seeing Indians in the woods at a rock doing a powwow in the backwoods of her grandmother's, in between the grandmother's and her aunt's house, which them woods are right off from the Fitchburg Country Club Golf Club. Yeah, that's right. And everybody knows sometimes these meadows that golf clubs are turned into were Indian living. Just like out there in uh, uh, Tuxbury. No, not Tuxbury. Tingsboro. The Tingsboro story I had covered. Of Mr. Tingsboro himself buying land from Native Americans that are now... Uh, over on the uh, opposite side of the Tingsboro Mansion. If them woods were all eliminated, you would see the island that the golf club is set on. That island was Indian livings. Indians lived all up and down the Merrimack River. Of course, one of the most famous are the uh, Pawtucket Indians that if you go to Pawtucket Falls in Lowell, Mass, near Tuxbury, they dwell there too. But i am got good, strong beliefs now that things are coming to peace by the puzzle that I'm going to go with, and I don't know, lately I've been making calls to places I want to get into. I haven't got no calls back. Obviously, people think I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> but I did call Atlantic College in Lancaster, Mass. Because I know there's Indian dwellings, livings there. And one of their buildings is haunted. The lady said, well, well, that's news to me. Let me send you to the administrator's office to talk to them. Of course, I left a message. Of course, they never called me back. And that was about a week and a half ago. 
So all my calls I've been getting struck out on, even though I tell them if I get something out of these videos, I will make donations when I start making money from YouTube, if that is even irrelevant to come true. Because YouTube, mind you, I'm going to cut my monetization. But uh, all in all, what I'm trying to do, and I am bringing these skinwalker stories to life. This guy, right, said four years ago he had this encounter. Now, why are people, and this is printed 18 hours ago, as you can see, the 18H. Claims this is four years ago, and I'm going to say, yeah, 17, 16, 15, 4, 2014, 2014. So there's been a lot of stuff, and I would love to know where the fuck this park is, but of course, people don't give their details, details. But uh, hopefully this comment I made will get me some share of the land. But my reasons to believe and all kinds of mysterious shit that goes on here. I'm, I'm, oh man, I think these things are coming to life. And that leads me to this. So let's cut this down. Now, I did a video a while back of my cousin writing about from New York. I did a video on, uh, on the, that a chicken coop got ripped open from the side. And, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is fucking crazy. And she claims that she literally heard, like, pig grunting. Now, I, before I even looked at the lay of the land and even got that other skinwalker story from Reddit, the same county of New York, this person that did the Reddit story is in the same goddamn county that my cousin is in. All out by Corning, New York, home of the Blackfeet. Aqu uh, I'm saying this right, Aquarius, not Aquarius, but Aqu Aquarius Indians, the um, Seox tribes. And where the hell did that video go? Don't even tell me I lost it. I just watched that damn thing. History, hang on a moment, bear with me. Stuff I was listening to in the past few days. <laughs> uh, here it is right here. I can't play the video. But what I am going to do is show you what you want to look up. Dylan Anderson and his, is his name. Now, I don't know if my cousin's going to catch this video because I will post it later on to where... She will see it on Facebook. But this video right here has the wailing cry and scream and screeches that the last guy said and my cousin said. Grunting like a pig. I did mention wild boars. And like I said, before all this coming up, before I knew what county she lived in. Before I found out what the other guy county lived in. You know, before all this came up, I said wild boar. But then in my attitude and thoughts, not attitude, duh, my thoughts all changed when I started looking up and I found out what county she was in. And that being said, if anybody wants to listen to this video, you're going to hear grunting like a pig in this video. Wild, screamed, then grunting. Whatever kind of grunting it is, right here is the video to check out. Now, I got an Isaiah, my another fan I have out there. Give you a huge thumbs up, brother. Maybe you want to check this out. You did send me a video I want to mention. It didn't 
come up on my, uh, I tried uploading it, it never came up, so, just wanted to let you know that, but, if you want to hear this one, and tell me if this sounds like the one you tried giving me, or even if this is the one you tried giving me for a video, yes, I believe you 100%, Isaiah there, my man Isaiah, my new fan, is another huge believer of skinwalkers, and I'm sure for a fact that he's going to hear this one, and it's probably going to be almost identical to the one he hears. And the video he tried to send, like I said, I tried getting that video up, it wouldn't come up, just kept buffering and never came up, so. But finding this one, I can just imagine if it sounds like yours. <laughs> but we want to check this out. This is what my cousin was talking about, and this guy from the same county on both of my videos of the skinwalker. So that being said, this new story coming up. And this was, uh, shit. I forgot to put that arrow down. Oh, there it is, great. Published on April 28th, 2018. Now if this is a video, now this, after this stuff happens, this guy cuts this shit off. You don't want nothing to do with it. He's out of there. He shuts his fucking camera off. He's scared shitless. If it was me, I'll tell you right now. If I come across this shit, I'm running towards it. I don't give a flying rat's ass. They say you don't look into the skinwalker's eyes. Well, guess what? I'm sorry. <laughs> These eyes tell of a tale, too. But anyways, don't want to get into that. I forgot to like this guy's video. I did subscribe to him, liked it. I did write to this guy, but I ain't got no comment back. But all in all, this is what I'm talking about, people. These things and stories keep coming up. People are probably just scared to tell them because they won't want people thinking they're fucking crazy, but I'll tell you right now, you're not crazy. And the way the land has been modernized by the future of our generations. Being torn down, lands being, uh, buildings being built. And these things were made to keep people off sacred lands. I think some builders, some contractors, and some government or whoever building these lands have been stepping across sacred land, and that's enemy land. And you're doing some terrible things. And I think I'm here the one to be telling people to might want to stop doing that. Because these things are getting pissed off. I'm bound to find one of these suckers and I don't care. I'm going full force. Giving my high right hand in the air. I'll sit Indian style and sit there and stare and gaze. Because I think. Telling the story and tales of these things, I think I'm starting to get a communication. Like I said, one of them said, if you want to be safe, come with me. And I believe that. There's no doubt in my mind I believe that. Anyways, I wanted to share this once again, another skinwalker story. Putting all this together, people. Check out this video. Very, very, very... Oh, man, I mean, this guy's caught something, I believe, to really be there. It is authentic. There's no way I don't think anybody human can make these goddamn noises. No way. Till that next video, be safe, take care. Believe, because if you don't, you're going to stumble up upon something you shouldn't have. You're going to stumble up upon something that without the proper knowledge to know about, you could lose your life. So if you have any sense, you better stop believing in the other world, spirit world, even into these things, skinwalkers. That's right. Because if you disrespect, well, there's nobody going to save your life from these things. They're either going to petrify you with fear of a heart attack, or they are going to stare you right in the eyes and rip your lungs out. Beware. Beware.
Until the next video. Out. Oh. Tonight I should be going to my Gilson Cemetery. I'm hoping to get out there tonight, tonight, tonight. Got my baby doll ready. Out.